Hey everybody, Jonathan here, and I've got a super nostalgic review for you today. This is the 2007 Mrs. Puff's Boating School from SpongeBob. This was such a cool theme, and this was actually one of the few SpongeBob sets I never got back in the day as a kid. I always wanted it, and I don't know, this one just... I never got it, but I got it now, all these years later, and I'm super excited to show it to you guys. So, this set came with 395 pieces, and it retailed for 50 bucks back in the day. So, this set came with 395 pieces, and it retailed for 50 bucks back in the day. You did get three minifigs, two of which were exclusive, and I think it's a pretty good value for 50 bucks, but... Full disclosure, I paid $150 for this as you see it, and I certainly don't think it's worth $150. But, you know, if you could pick this up for a deal under $100, I think you'll dig it. So let's take a closer look at the whole set, and I'll show you what I think. My friend Brody and I designed a Lego Kiss set, so we need all the support we can get from the Kiss Army. If you would click the link in the description of this video, you can support the set, and if we get enough supporters, Lego will actually consider making it into a real set. So let's get those supporter numbers up, and thanks so much for that. So the first minifig we'll look at is SpongeBob himself. He's got his tongue sticking out here, and he's got an antenna on top of his head from when Patrick is radioing him while he's on his driver's license. I don't know if the younger kids out there will remember this episode, but this was a staple of my childhood. If you've never seen the SpongeBob minifig, he had the short legs here and a regular yellow torso, and this sponge piece sat on top of the torso a little something like that and made it an absolute classic minifig. This version with the tongue out was exclusive to this set, which makes it that much more awesome. The Patrick in this set is the same Patrick that came in lots of different Lego SpongeBob sets back in the day. Uh, this time, of course, he does have the radio, like we said, because he's talking to SpongeBob, but it is a really nice figure overall. The color of it may look pink, but it's actually the same, like, human flesh skin tone that Lego's been using for years. So I've always thought it was interesting they didn't make him outright pink and made him more flesh tone. Kind of interesting. And finally, we have Mrs. Puff, who is completely exclusive to this set, and she invented two new pieces, or rather, new, two new pieces were invented for her. You can see that this big dome piece with the fins on the sides lifts up and connects to her skirt with the legs underneath, so you just fit that right on there, and there's a blue stud on top. Now, we did get another Mrs. Puff minifig in the LEGO SpongeBob Wave, but it had a different print, which makes this one completely exclusive to this set. So when it comes to the boat build, it's a boat, it's a car, I don't know what you would call it, but it is a pretty solid little build. You've got the little 18 stickers on the front right out of the show, got a little spinning propeller in the back. There is a spot where you could put SpongeBob in the boat like that so that he's driving. And then of course it's a pull motor which will actually drive when you pull it back. So let's take a closer look at that. Now as we go along the course, you'll see that there are these two poles here that hold up the start sign and interestingly the start sign is spread across two one by six uh plates there so it's pretty rare to see lego do that now putting one sticker across two or more pieces for that matter but then you'll see we've got some traffic cones at the beginning here two arrow signs as he goes over this little speed bump here got some flames up there too they don't really fit great it's not the end of the world but it's not a perfect fit then we've got the wall with the classic SpongeBob text, and of course, he'll be able to bust through that wall like that. And once again, you can see we've got some stickers that go across multiple pieces. So this set was breaking all kinds of rules back in the day. And we've got a long sticker on that very long red piece. So that's interesting. We've also got this anchor for SpongeBob to go up against, and then he'll hit the finish line in the back. So full disclosure, I've not been able to get it to go the whole course. Uh, we'll see what happens now, but just full disclosure, don't expect too terribly much. Uh, that was pretty good, but as you can see, it'll go around the corner here, he'll go underneath the anchor, and then he goes to the finish line back there. Now the cool thing about this set is you could dismantle it with all of these little Technic pins. So if you wanted a smaller footprint, you certainly could achieve that. And then of course you could just have Mrs. Puff's Boating School on its own and you could move the course out of the way. Like maybe you were building a bikini bottom back in the day and you just wanted this. I think it's pretty cool you could do that. Then of course you could like park the boat in one of the like little parking stalls here, which is quite cool. And uh, now we'll go ahead and take a look at the inside of the school here. So we've got this little walkway out front, got that cool door up front and the door actually does open it might be easier to open from the other side but you can see we've got some stickers here for a door and some windows up here 
then we can turn the whole thing around and you'll see we can spin the lighthouse lights up top little antenna there as well got a ladder up here some tools and then of course we have mrs puff's classroom now of course all the minifigures can be placed in here pretty well so mrs puff behind her desk and then of course spongebob and patrick just kind of like stand on the seats there but if we move spongebob out you can see you've got the clamshells for seats and behind them we've got all kinds of awards and trophies for mrs puff's boating school and of course we also have a little boating school drawing on the wall there and like i said this door does open at the front but i think it's cool that this has a lot of playability not just in the car out outside but also in the classroom and stuff too got the mrs puff's boating school sign and all that good stuff all right guys let me know what you thought of mrs puff's boating school this was a lot of fun it's far from a perfect set but it's got a lot of nostalgia carrying weight for it and at the end of the day it's still pretty fun to look at so let me know what you guys think in the comments down below be sure to hit like and subscribe and i'll see you guys on the next